more, he'll hit 22, that'll be a state record. Back deep for the G-Men, Ricky Brown and Brett Surface, and we're just about ready to get underway. Chapter 4, you're in to Graham High School Football, right, on a, right here on Country 106 WBDY, FM 106.3, serving Bluefield, Princeton, and Townsville. Graham fans going crazy. Here we go, and if boot is off, it's going to be way, way short. yard line, but I'll tell you what, that was real short, and our up men, Danny, had turned their backs to the football, did not know it was coming down on their heads. I know, the way, the way their traction is out there right now, it looks like that field is still slick. The field is wet, I talked with Herb Sims earlier, and he says that it is very, very wet. It doesn't look like it from up here, but if you uh, heard that rain last night and what happened this morning, you know it's got to be wet. Cannot make any mistakes in. G-Man out of the huddle from the wishbone, Brian Denham in it. Dudley up over center, takes the snap to give it to, well, he's going to give it to Ricky, uh, rather, uh, Marcus Latimer. There's a flag on a play. Somebody jumped. It looks like it's going to go against Salem. Offside Salem will operate first and five from the 30. Graham High School football here on Country 106. Boy, Dan, this is the first one I think I've been up for. <laughs> Well, I tell you, everybody else is up for it, too, Kiss. We got beach balls in the stadium right now, and right. the fans are into it big time. That looks like a Beach Boy concert tonight. We're just underway here from Mitchell Stadium. G-Man breaking the huddle from the wishbone. Denham still in the backfield. At right half is Marcus Latimer, Ricky Brown at left half. Dudley barks the signals, takes the snap to give us to Latimer. Latimer looking for some running, and still on his feet. And Latimer gets about two or three yards before he is swarmed under by a group of Salem Spartans led by Shane Miles. It'll be second down at about three or second down and four. We'll see where they mark it. remaining first quarter we're just underway g guys break from the huddle round surface and latimer back at fullback now denim is out Dudley marks the signals takes the snap and the give us to surface and surface picks up maybe a yard salem's defense is swarming right now that was on the dive of course they're looking for ricky brown to uh, carry that ball a lot richard good pasture in on the tackle for Spartans. Good pasture playing at the inside linebacker position for Salem. A big third down early in the game. Third down three, 10, 12 remaining first quarter. No score. We're just underway here from Mitchell Stadium. From the bone. Dodd takes the snap and they give us to Ricky Brown around the left side. And Brown is smashed and hit in there. Hit in there by Shane Mills. Big tackle and it will be fourth down and the G-Men will have to punt. That hole opened up momentarily there, but Mr. Mills filled it in a instant. Yes, he did. Dropping back deep will be Brad Bradley, Hunter Cunningham, and Joey Crowder for the Salem Spartans. Mickey Brown, of course, will do the punting for the G-Men. He'll stand at his own 22-yard line, and there's a nice snap back to Rick. Gets the kick off. It's a over end, or an end over end. Joey Crowder looking at it at 20, and it is down at the 27-yard line. But Brett Surface will pause for 30 seconds. For over 60 years now, Goody Coons Drugs Bland Street Bluefield has served the needs of folks from both Virginias. Goody Coons offers a complete line of greeting cards, gifts, specialty items, and of Goody Coons Drugs, your friendly family pharmacy for over 60 years. Lance. Crowder flex right, Brad Bradley wide left from the eye. Switzerland quarterback with good pasture and Miller in the backfield. In motion is Crowder, and there's a pass over the middle. It is incomplete. And Switzer was top just as he let go of that ball by Marcus Latimer. It'll be second down. Marcus creamed him early. I like to see that in the first play on defensive series, Cass. Marcus was putting pressure on him. I like to see that any time. But you got to do it early there. That's right. 8.49 remaining first quarter. No score. G-Man. Unable to get anything going there in the first series of downs. Wide 
receiver left, flanker right, throw set right, Salem, Switzer quarterback up over center, takes the snap, and they give us the good pasture around the right side, he's got some running room, he's still on his feet, and he gets it to the 47-yard line, almost broke that one, Marcus Forty had him under the shoestrings at the 40-yard line at Salem's 40, but he broke it, had that great balance in, just kept it going up there, and they'll mark it at the G-Men 45, it'll be first and 10 Salem. Tackle was made by Forty. Forty got him by the shoestrings there. And Forty got him by the shoes to the right. Flanker right, pro set right. Switzer looks like he's calling an audible down there. Takes the snap, looking to throw across the middle. It's complete to Crowder. Crowder at the 30, 25 yard line. Tackled by Brent Surface and Marcus Latimer. Crowder the flanker. And a beautiful little pass down there. I think they're running a little play action right now, and it's messing their linebackers up, Kiss. And they've run that right side two times. They're getting some good blocking on that right side. 8.22 remaining. First quarter, no score, but Salem is knocking on the door. They've got the ball at the G-Men 25, first down and 10. They break from the huddle. They'll send Brad Bradley out wide to the right. Also wide to the right. Will be Brian Arthur. They operate from the pro set right. Switzer, quarterback, takes the snap. The give us to good pasture. He takes a good pop, but still on his feet. It's finally hit in there and tackled by Chris Stacy. Marcus Forney had the initial hit. But I tell you what, this good pasture, you know, he's only 180 pounds, but he's a tough 180. He is a strong runner. You tell that guess. He's the guy that beat us last year, Danny, along with that great quarterback, Megan Bauer. So, a pickup of nine. We look at second and one for Salem at the G-Men 17. All right, and Joey Crowder. They operate from the eye with Miller at fullback, good pasture at tailback. In motion is Crowder. There's the snap, and the great give us to the first man through, and that is Miller. And he picks up a couple of yards, but there's a flag on the play in the backfield. We've got some major feedback here. Here is. We're back here. Pro set right. Frank right wide receiver right looking to throw. Incomplete. That one was intended for number 38 for the Salem Spartans, Ryan Arthur. Sorry about the technical difficulties, folks. Once we get this thing straightened out, we'll be fine. Third down at six will be the situation. 7.27 remaining in the first quarter. Now well, maybe we can do it. Wide receiver right. Flanker right from the eye. Switzer, the quarterback, barks the signals with third and six. They give us the good pasture. Pasture, he is close to a first down, but I don't believe he's got it, Danny. He's going to be shy, just about a half Here. Now I think we're okay. Maybe that was a tone. I don't know what the heck's going on here. This is the first time this has ever happened. Eh? It's fourth down and two, and they are going for it. 6.52 remaining first quarter. Wide receiver left. They operate from the eye. Switzer gives it to the first man through. He's got the first down. Down at about the 12-yard line. the G-Men 11. There's a snap from center. Switzer hands it to Good Pasture. Good Pasture with some running room. Is tripped up in there by David Lawson. remaining. First quarter, no score. Salem knocking on the door. It's second down at seven. They send two wide receivers to the left. They'll operate from the eye. Switzer quarterback takes the snap. 
And he gives it to the first man through the fullback, Chris Miller. He picks up maybe a yard, if that. Tackle was made in there by Chris Stacy of the G-Men. Graham High School Football, 1990. goes out wide to the left along with Joey Crowder. They operate from the pro set right. It's third down and seven. Switzer. Lucky, he got the keeper and he'll go nowhere. Caught by Chris Stacy, Marcus Latimer. And also in on that play for the G-Men was Graham Thompson. So it'll be fourth down. And it looks like this time they'll go for three as they bring out Johnny Sheeler, the guy who with eight more field goals can set a Virginia high school state record. I think it can. Stacy was in it two big plays in a row there on defense. Super defense. This will be a 30-yard attempt by Sheeler with 440 remaining in the first quarter. So the G-Man defense has held. There'll be no six. The kick is up. It is short. It is no good. With a score. The G-Man nothing. The Spartans nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. For 28 days, McDonald's thinks you should follow a back-to-basics routine. Good food, a little TV at night, win a million bucks. It's McMillions on NBC. Very basic. Just go to McDonald's, pick up a new McMillions ticket. We're back here live at Mitchell Stadium at G-Men of Hell. We take it first and 10 from our own 20. Wishbone, Brad, rather Dudley, takes the snap from center, gives to the first man through, and Marcus Forney, or rather a Latimer. Latimer picks up maybe a yard. It'll be second down to nine. Tackle was made in there that time by Brian Arthur of the Salem Spartans. 419 remaining in the first quarter, no score. Guess we need to break a long one here so we can get some operating room here. We've been being deep all first. It's been inconsistent as of late. Second down nine, G-Men from the bone. Dudley takes a snap from center. They give it to Forney around the left side. He's caught by the jersey and thrown down by a good pasture. They'll mark it dead. There was a fumble on the play. This uh, Salem defense, Danny, is unbelievably fast. They're swarming. Reminds me of that swarming defense we had in the latter part of the year last year. We were a little bit faster. Not going to throw it yet, I'm sure. Dudley marks the signals, takes the snap. They give it to Ricky Brown. Brown looking for some running room. He picks up about five yards. It'll be way short of the first down, and we'll kick it again. The tackle was made that time by Chris Sweat. It'll be fourth and five. Dropping back deep will be Brad Bradley. Hunter Cunningham and Joey Crowder for the Spartans. This time Ricky will kick it from his own 14-yard line. Good snap from Jeremy Carball. High end over end kick. And it takes a Salem bounce all the way back to the 42-yard line of the G-Men where the Spartans will take over first and 10. Carbaugh down that ball. That ball hit and bounced back. They let that thing bounce and roll about 15 yards in the shot. Spartans operate from the front set right with good pasture in the middle of the backfield. Switzer marks the signal. Takes the snap. They give it to good pasture. He'll go nowhere this time. Swarmed under by Chris Stacy along with Brian Denham and also in on the tackle was the number 63, who is Chris Austin. Loss of two, second down, 12. Fine. Chris shot it that time there and it held on to him and he still gained it. Still got a couple yards there, kids. End of the football game for Salem is Brian Arthur. He goes out wide to the left along with Brad Bradley. Once again from the pro set. Call it second and 11. Switzer takes a snap looking to throw. He's got a man open but overthrows good pasture. Covered in there by David Lawson. It will be third down at 11. 126 remaining first quarter. Still no score. Good coverage on the play, but I'll tell you what, if that had been a good thrown ball, good pasture would have had lots of daylight. So the G-Men thus far unable to do anything offensively. The Spartans, on the other hand, in their first drive, went downfield. 
Got as far as the 11 yard line, but were unable to uh, get anything on the board. From the eye, wide receiver, two of them left. On the draw, it goes to Miller, he goes nowhere. Further than that. Swarmed under by a ton of G-men, about six of them. We'll give that, give that to the whole offensive line and a couple of, a couple of linebackers. That's more than six, I realize. But heck, there are so many numbers out there, it's impossible to call it. So, the Spartans unable to do anything in their second series of offensive downs and into kick will be Scott Switzer. I see a good return now. Ricky and Brett back deep for the G-Men. They stand at their own 10. There's a good snap from center. Switzer gets it up. It's coming to Ricky Brown. Brown's got the football at the 20. 25. Ricky's still on his feet, and he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That was a gutsy play there by Rick to catch that ball as close as they were. And the run again. Yes, it was. Tackle made by Jody Terry. Special teams for Salem. G-Men operate first and 10 for 29 with just 42 ticks remaining first quarter. Pro set left, flanker left. Dudley, the quarterback, takes the snap. They give us to Latimer. Latimer with some running room. Latimer still on his feet. Latimer breaks the tackle. Latimer's at the 50, the 45, and the 40-yard line of Salem first down. Beautiful running. seen all year. Joey Crowder makes a saving tackle. No one has seen that offensive play this year. Well, we need to dig down and get about three or four more like that, guess. Uh, one big one. Marcus would not go down at that. Well, Sir Bob. 30-yard carry by Marcus Latimer. First and 10 from the Salem 39. Chiman from the bone. Dudley at quarterback. Dudley barks the signals, takes a snap. They give us to Latimer again. Latimer's got four more. Tackle was made by Chris Sweat of the Salem Spartans. And that is the end of the first quarter with the score of the G-Men nothing, the Spartans nothing. Our country and area. From Sarge and everyone at Abs Valley Electric, go get our coal companies and rebuild them and fix them and stuff. Unbelievable. Stuff they do. Second down of six, G-Men from the 36 of the Spartans. Dudley, the quarterback, takes the snap. Pitches back to Ricky Brown around the right side. Brown's got some running room. Just tripped up. Just tripped up by Joey Crowder. Otherwise, that one would have been about 10 or 15 yards. Shoestring tackle made in there. You can tell how wet the ground. In motion is Ricky Brown. Pro set right. Ricky's flanked right now. There's the snap from center. Dudley gives it to Marcus Latimer around the right side. Latimer once again with some running room, and he's close to a first down. Beautiful round that time. That will be another G-Men first down. That's so, I'll tell you what. Let me tell you, though, Kess, that, that play was run there because of that block that Ricky threw. Beautiful block. Brown does it all. And I'll tell you what, when Marcus Latimer gets a few blocks, he goes a long way. Jody Terry makes the tackle once again for the Spartans. First down and 10, they mark the ball with the Spartan 23. G-Men with a football marching. Dudley marks the signals. Takes the snap to give us to Brett Surface up the middle on the dive, and Brett's got a couple of yards. So that's right tonight, Latimer has been on his pony. He has gained already about 40 yards in this game. James Martin made the tackle for the Spartans. We'll look at second down and eight. 10-51 remaining for the half. Forty flank to the left. Pro set left. Dudley takes the snap. Give us to Latimer again around the left side. He's up to the 20. Pick up of two, it will be third down and six as Bradley makes the tackle. Marcus just couldn't hardly get to the outside on that one. Brett Surface checks into the game, Forney comes out. Well, one thing's for sure, Danny, we're within field goal range. That's right. We got a, a timeout. There's a timeout on the field with the score. The G-Men nothing, the Spartans nothing. We'll pause for 60 seconds. You always find a better buy at your... Well, we'll see what's going this time. From the wishbone, Dudley takes the snap. Well, he hasn't taken it yet. I'm sorry. I'm getting a, getting a little excited. Dudley takes the snap. 
Drops back to pass. Looking downfield. He's got a man right over. Touchdown, David Lawson. Beautiful. Beautiful. 20-yard strike from Dudley to Lawson. Give me five. Big time. Win it in. That's three. <laughs> David Lawson. That play's been run about three times this year. It's been overthrown every time. But that time, Dudley was right on the money. Beautiful pass. Absolutely beautiful. And we'll go for one. G-Men on top, 6 to nothing. 10-10 remaining in the second quarter. 20-yard touchdown pass. There is a snap. The kick is up. It is perfect. Puts the score to G-Men 7. The Spartans nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. We'll pause for 30 seconds. We will pause. We'll just stay here live. Well, I guess I'm probably celebrating in the control room, too. Ten, ten remaining. Second quarter. G-Men on the board. Bill Dudley to David Lawson, that is. And we've got seven. Boy, the fans are going crazy tonight. Ricky Brown approaches and kicks. That one will go all the way to the front. Now, it didn't quite make it. It's a little too wet out there. Four yards to the field. As we exchange, we'll pause for 30 seconds. It's time once again for G-Men Trivia. If you think you know a lot about the Graham High School G-Men, then hit up. Stay tuned for the G-Men Trivia answer. G-Men Trivia brought to you each week by Jim Dudley Attorney, serving the Bluefield area since 1973. Back here live from Mitchell Stadium. First play from scrimmage for Salem from the 20. They pick up, let's see, I believe four or five yards. It was good pasture on the carry. He and was swarmed over there on the, on the left side, Cass. Chris Stacy and Marcus Latimer. Some... Pascasio checks out for the G-Men. There's the snap from center, looking to pass to Switzer. It is complete. But on top of him, just as soon as Miller, the fullback, caught the football with Chris Stacy, and it will be third down and four. Mr. Stacy has had him one super defensive game so far tonight. They mark the ball at the 27 of the Spartans. They look at third down, and we'll call it third down and three now. They send wide receivers, two of them to the left, Jerry Crowder and Brad Bradley. They operate from the eye with Miller and Good Pasture. There's the snap from center to give it to Miller, and he's got the first down plus. And he's all the way up to the 35-yard line. <laughs> Tackle was made that time by Brian Denham. He missed. Two wide receivers right again from the eye. There's the snap from center to give it to Miller again. He'll go nowhere this time. Swarmed under David Lawson, Chris Stacy, Rip Surface, and Brian Denham all in there, as well as Graham Thompson. Once again, wide receivers, two to the right from the eye. Switzer takes the snap, takes to, to good pressure, throws over the middle, complete! Beautiful catch to the tight end, Shane Miller, and that'll be a first down and a great throw by Switzer. Beautiful pass. I don't see how to really count that kiss. Ricky Brown and Stacy. Sun porch and three bedrooms. To see this historic property. In 10 of the G-Men 47, 751 remaining in the second quarter. G-Men on top, 7-0. Wide receivers, both sides of the field. Switzer takes a snap. Look at it now. He'll be sacked by Marcus Latimer and Chris Stacy at the 43-yard line. Beautiful. Of the Spartans. So that one, a major loss. How sweet it is, kid. Switzer dropping back to pass. Did I, he had no time to do anything. Just enough time to hit the turf. It'll be second down and 16. Boy, they marked that one uh, not as far back as I thought. I guess some forward motion, huh, Dan? That's right. Boy, that mean bag comes down. Crowder and Bradley come out wide to the left. Switzer with a second down 16 situation. Drops back to pass, straight back in the screen. is good pass to throws. He got smacked by David Lawson. That 
That's exactly the way that one is supposed to be played. The coach is locked in. Did you see Coach Carlock on that play? Yes, sir. Good pasture in the flat on the screen. The ball went through his hands, and when it went through his hands, something else Ooh. went through him. Two wide receivers right. Third down, 16 from the eye. Switzer takes the snap, looking to throw downfield. He's got a man in the flat, incomplete. It'll be fourth down. That one intended for Brad Bradley. A little bit too high for him. It will be fourth down at 16, and they're going to have to punt that football. Switzer will stay in to do the punting. Brent Surface and Ricky Brown will drop back deep for the G-Men. Yes, the intensity of the G-Men tonight is at another level. Have you noticed that? Yes, it is. Switzer will stand at his 32-yard line. High snap from center. Switzer feels it. The punt's coming down to Ricky Brown at the 20. He's to the 25, 30, and knocked down by the good pasture at the 34. Also in on the tackle was Brad Bradley. First down and 10. G-Men operate from their own 34. A couple of interesting st scores here in today. Louisville 9, West Virginia 7. Latimer and Surface in the backfield for the G-Men. Flank to the left now is Brent Surface. Pro set left. Dudley takes a snap to give us to Latimer. Marcus picks up a couple of yards. And he is tossed down by a host of Salem Spartans, including Bill Breedlow. Also in on that tackle was Joey Crowder. Yes, let me ask you a question. What do you think about that hammer time down at Pocahontas? Oh, I'll tell you what. Pocahontas Indians are red hot. Hammer time's all over that town. They won last night. Super bunch of kids. Squeakers 7-6 up there over North Cross. They're 4-0 now. Second and eight. G-Men 40 now in for surface. Dudley takes the snap, pitches back to Ricky Brown. What a block. What a block by 40. Forney just absolutely blasted Brian Arthur, knocked him on his butt. <laughs> to say the least. On his stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Big third down coming up here. We need about three and a half yards, guess. A long three. Third down and three. The clock continues to run with 525 remaining in the half. g on top, seven zip. Dudley up over center. The signals, takes the snap. They give it to Ricky Brown at the middle. Ricky is on his feet, makes a couple of tackles. He's at the 40 and knocked out of bounds at the Spartan 35-yard line. Tackled by Brad Bradley, and that one was a saving tackle. He got held up just a little bit and regained his momentum, or that would have been six points. I think at this moment, Danny, these last five minutes are important because these Salem Spartans, as we speak, are intimidated. That's right. They are intimidated, but once they get in that dressing room and Willis White gets to talking to them, this whole thing could turn around in a minute. This is going to be a well of a ball game. Wishbone, first down of 10, G-Man from the Spartan 37. Dudley takes the snap. The give is to Ricky Brown. Ricky will go nowhere this time. It'll be second down. Middle of the line, that time in on the tackle for the Spartans. James Martin in on the tackle along with Shane Miles was in there. It will be second down and nine. There was a pickup of one. Can't sit down, but I there. Hey, I'm, st I'm st stood up all of the game, kids. Too nervous. Second down and nine. G-Men out of the huddle. Dudley takes the snap. Pitches back to Ricky Brown. Halfback pass. Looking downfield, Brown, he's got a man. It is intercepted, intercepted by Brad Bradley. A great little catch by that guy. Man, what a pair of hands. Super catch, super catch. That was intended for Chris Stacy. Brown just get, didn't get enough of it. Now, Danny, I don't know if you noticed, but running around and out, out in the flat, absolutely wide open was Bill Dudley. 
Jeff. Maybe something come back to us, won't you? Absolutely wide open, but Ricky had one man on his mind, it looked like, and that was Chris Stacy. After that first trivia question tonight, who scored a touchdown in the snow at Mitchell Stadium against Tazel in 81 for the regional championship? Lee Grimes with a pass to that great quarterback, Eddie Neal. Wide receivers both sides of the field. One man in motion from the eye. Swift gives the good pasture, and he's stacked up. No game. Lee Grimes, Eddie Neal. Now, Eddie played uh, for Virginia Tech, did he? Dan? That's right. Tackle was made by Stacy that time. And other coverage lands 13 to 7. Our first Southwest District game will be next week against Grundy. That must have been a good game last night. Second down and 10. Sam with a football. Wide receivers two times to the right. Man in motion. There's a mix up in the backfield. There's a pass. It is complete to Miller. And he gets about two and a half, three yards on the carry. The tackle is made by Brent Surface. It'll be third down. So the GD is coming to life now. I'd like to see a good interception here, Cass. It's definitely a passing down, but you know, they may come back to that run with good passing. Wide receivers, right? They operate from the eye. Switzer, the quarterback, with third down and nine, drops back to throw. Looking downfield, underthrows his man. It'll be fourth down. Good pressure put in there that time by our linebackers. Switzer, according to head coach Willis White, is a little into Drop back deep for the G-men. Switzer will stay in the punt. Ricky and Brent will stand at their over the 44-yard line. We look at 250 remaining in the half. G-Men on top, 7 and up against a good snap to center. Switzer straight up in the air. Reggie Jackson pop up. It takes a G-Men bounce and rolls out at the 42. And once again, David Lawson has put Brian Arthur on his top again, Dan. <laughs> Must be something going on that we don't know. Well, yeah. I, you know, I think the thing is you don't just stand around out there. Because, you know, even if a play is going to happen, what, what David's just letting Arthur know is he's going to be around him tonight. That's right, all night long. So the G-Men now look at first and ten with just over two and a half to play in the first half. Dudley takes a snap from center. They give it to Ricky Brown, almost taking Ricky Brown, breaks another tackle. Brown through 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown G-Men. Beautiful, beautiful. as the fans go crazy here at Mitchell Stadium. <laughs> 43 yards on the carry. Ricky Brown takes it in, and we're set to go for the extra point. There's the snap from center. The kick is up. It is good. With a throw the G-Men 14, Salem nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. It's goodbye 90s at Ramey's of Princeton. 90 models close out with up to 4,000 models with our biggest sale of the year. Plus, you'll find a Rose Chrysler from the Dodge. Route 460 Princeton. Sale in September 30th. Back here live at Mitchell Stadium where Ricky Brown has just electrified the crowd once again as he's done all year. 43 yards on the carry. He was hit a couple of times and they were grabbing for the ball, Danny, instead of trying to tackle him there in the middle of the line. He broke it to the outside. Then it was a foot race. He got hit at about the 10 down there by Joey Crowder and then just kicked his way into the end zone, made the big dive from the five. He pat rolled that line down through there, that nice seven yards kick. Ricky Brown set the kick now. Brad Bradley and Chris Miller back deep. It's taken by Miller. Miller to the 20. Boom. 24-yard line. It's with market. There was a fumble on the play. They mark it dead, though. Was there a hit in that time, Ken? There's been a lot of hitting so far tonight. They'll mark the ball, ball at the 24. That tackle that time was made by Steve Funker, the G-man. Of the field. Wishbone. Oh, there was movement in the backfield there, but I don't believe the ref saw it, Danny. 
He missed it. Good pasture in on the carry that time. Marcus Latimer makes the stop. Pick up of three yards. It'll be second down of seven. Get a little warm in here, Dan. Yeah, I don't want all this action here. We're running back and forth. We need to sit down and quit dancing. I can't. can't. <laughs> can't stop my leg. Crowder. Wide to the right. Bradley. Wide to the left. From the eye. Switzer. Pitches back to Good Pasture. Good Pasture. Gets it up to about the 20 yard line. And he has stopped in there that time by David Lawson. Clock runs with 126 to try. By the way, that is the state championship jacket, folks. Third down and five. Spartans with the ball at their own 30-yard line. There's Moose right. again, and the flag comes this time. They caught him that time. That will mark it back five, five yards against Salem, and they'll uh, redo uh, in the half of it. On the eye, two wide receivers right. Switzer drives back to pass, straight back, looking in the flat. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. That one could have easily been intercepted. Lawson in on the coverage along with Brent Surface, intended for good pasture, stops the clock. Uh, Ricky Solap, uh, either that or you go for the block. Dan McCourt said if you, if you hit that punter it's from his own 10-yard line, Brent and Ricky stand at their own 40. There's a good kick this time. It's going to come to Brent Surface. Surface calls for the fair catch. It's down to the 45. We'll pause for 30 seconds. For over 60 years now, Goody Coons Drugs Bland Street Bluefield has served the needs of folks from both Virginias. Goody Coons offers a complete line of drugs. Your friendly family pharmacy for over 60 years. All right, we are back here live. Dudley takes a snap from center. They give us the Latimer. Latimer looking for some running room. Gets about four yards on the carry. Stacked up. 18, 17 ticks now. And the G-Men call for a timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Pick up a new McMillions ticket every day and watch NBC that night to see if your ticket matches 100%. Abs Valley Electric in Bluefield, Virginia and Sarge Painter saluting the Graham High School G-Men of 1990. Dudley dropping back the pass will be smacked in there on the blitz. And I believe that that will end the first half unless there's another timeout called. And it doesn't look like they're going to do it. That will uh, end the first half with the score. The G-Men 14, the Salem Spartans nothing. We'll be back with our halftime show after these messages from all of our sponsors. Living, loving, building, growing. Hometown proud America. America, IGA. Hometown. I refer to you as Mr. Football. Like football sometimes. <laughs> G-Men set to kick off to the Spartans to the likes of uh, Brad Bradley and Chris Miller. Well, they've got uh, three guys back now. Bradley, Miller, and Crowder. Ricky Brown tees it up. Thanks to our halftime sponsors, Seafair. Making rich, all those great folks celebrating their anniversary. Petite Mart, folks, just for you. you right at regular price. The photos and balls automotive. We're underway in the second half, and that one will be taken. Let's see, they flip it back to uh, Miller. Miller with some running room, and he's hit at the 18 yard line. That was pitched back, taken by Bradley. Bradley flipped it back to Miller. Miller from the end zone brought it out to about the 17. Spartans will operate first and ten. The tackle was made on top of two there. He was right in the middle. He was in the middle. Wide receivers, two of them to the right. Switzer, throws set right. Takes a snap to give us to good pasture. He's up over the 20, about four yards on the carry. It'll be second down and six. Just underway here, second half. Eric Workman makes a stop for the G-men. Chris 
Lucky and Eric Workman on the tackle, along with Graham Thompson. Graham's putting in some uh, good stops here in the last couple of games, Dan. He sure has. Playing a good game. If you just joined us, Graham is on top, 14 to nothing. 20-yard touchdown pass in the second quarter. Oh, boy. From Dudley to Lawson. 221 remaining second quarter, Brown 43 yards, PAT was perfect. There's a set from center, there's a fumble, fumble, fumble. And the Chiefs have recovered at the 15 yard line. And who recovered it? Number 63, J. Bird Browning, folks. Chris Austin. Chris Austin. That's the series film guys. I think it's been waiting for these guys to come in here. It looks like they just showed up. They did. I, I'm surprised they didn't bring uh, the, the, the women with them. <laughs> remaining third quarter, Dudley takes the snap to give it to Ricky Brown. Brown is up over the 15 to about the 14 of at least second down and eight. Guess if we get a touchdown right now, it's going to put the hurt on him. Big break. Jody Terry, nine. For the G-man, Ricky Brown in motion. Now flanked right, close set right. Dudley takes the snap from center. They give us to Latimer up the middle. On the dive, Latimer gets close to the 10. They'll mark it, I believe, at around the 11 or 12. We'll wait and see. Shane Miles makes the tackle for the Spartans. Brent Surface brings the play in from the sidelines as Forney checks out. Thanks to our guy in the sky, the man at the studio, under the controls, the wild and crazy guy. He's short, but I'm telling you, he's a big guy. Steve Tilson on and out. Thank you, Steve. Third down at six. Stacy goes wide left. Flank to the left is Brent Surface. Throw set left. Dudley gives to Latimer. He will be stopped. And short of the first down, we'll have to go for three. Shane Miles once again in on the tackle for the Spartans. Mr. Miles shot the gap that time and got him in the backfield. So with 8.40 and counting, the G-man will go for three. Ricky will be teeing it up and kicking it from about, let's see, what it will be. about the 29, so it will be a 39-yard attempt. Check that, that's a 19. 29-yard attempt. 19 and 10 is 29, isn't it, Dan? At most of the time, yes. There's a snap from center. The kick is up, and it is absolutely perfect. Look at four, the Jimmy in 17, the Spartans nothing. The pass for 30 seconds. For over 60 years now, Goody Coots Drugs Bland Street Bluefield has served the needs of folks for some fact service. From all the staff and management of Goody Coots, good luck, G-Men, in tonight's game. Goody Coots... And we look at 17 to nothing with 8.08 remaining in the third quarter. Bradley, Miller, and Crowder drop back deep for the Spartans. This one will come down to Miller, and it'll go into the end zone. Touchback. First and 20 from the home 20. And the cameraman back there, Ken. Good shot for me. That guy was just up here a second ago. He sure was. Took a program for us. I promise. The pasture in the backfield for the Spartans. There's a flag on the play. Before the play. Take it back. Five yards procedure. Backfield and motion. It's going to be first down at 15. Switzer takes a snap, looks to throw, drops back. He's got a man wide open, will be incomplete, trapped the ball. That was intended for Brad Bradley, the wide receiver, and in on the coverage was Marcus Forney. Get a little cold in here now, Kev. That is, the excitement's cut out for three. Wide receivers both sides to the field. Switzer, good pressure, Switzer dropping back the pass, looking for some room, hit by three or four guys, finally brought down by Brian Denham and Marcus Latimer, Workman hit him, in the backfield, I think if that's one heck of an athlete, because you see how 
he, he was hit back there and still came came out about to try to play and also got a, a hit on him in the backfield there. Guy that doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He didn't put that ball up for grabs. It's third down play right now. Third down at about 17. Switzer gives the good pasture. Good pasture looking for the running room. He'll be stopped. will stay at their own 45. There's the snap from center. It's a good one. Switzer gets off a nice spirally kick coming down to Ricky Brown. Brown takes it. It's 25. Well, check it. 45. 50. Gets out over the 50 to the 42 yard line. Is that a flag? That is a that flag. And I saw it. He's going to have a little bit of a clip back there. A little bit of just a throw out there. <laughs> even, if, even if it's just a little clip, it's a big clip. Right? Well, I guess. So that'll mark it back about 15 yards. Yeah, from the spot. It'll mark it. David Lawson moves out wide to the left. Dudley, a quarterback, takes the snap from center. Direction to Brett Surface stopped in the backfield, stopped at the 30. That will be a loss of about five. It'll be second and 15. Germain Vineyard in on the tackle for the Salem Spartans as Brett checks out of the game. Brett, just a sophomore this year. Plenty of playing time left, Kev. Each game he gets better. Dudley takes the snap from center. They give it to Ricky Brown. Ricky will go nowhere this time. Richard good pasture in on the tackle. Along with Jermaine Vineyard and Lee Cadd. That's another loss of a couple more yards. That'll be third down and, uh, let's see, we'll call it third down of 16 now. They mark the ball. 29. She's been operating for her own 29 with a little over five minutes remaining third quarter. Dudley takes the snap from center. Dropping back to throw. Looking downfield. He's got a man in Lawson. It is intercepted. Lawson takes him down though. Intercepted by Johnny Sheeler at about the 39 yard line. That's where they'll mark it. That was another great throw, though, from Dudley, just a little bit off track. I'll tell you, good coverage, though, Ken. Yep. That was a good throw, but good coverage. Better coverage. Well, he got what he's supposed to. Good I'm job. As good as a throw. That's right. Crowder and Bradley. Wide left, wide right from the eye. Switzer, they need to get something going quick. Switzer, look at the throw. On the fly, it is incomplete, overthrown, intended for Brad Bradley, and hit on the coverage for the G-man, Marcus Horney. That ball was thrown about uh, 15 yards in front of both of them. Well, you folks out there don't know what the fly pattern is. Situation. Salem from their own 39-yard line. They send Arthur and Bradley wide to the right. They'll operate from the eye. Switzer drops back to throw again, being chased. And that one will be overthrown and incomplete, intended for Brad Bradley. Forney once again in on the coverage and a lot of pressure back there in the backfield. Marcus Latimer providing a little heat for Switzer. The at least he had a hold of his jersey and was pulling him down as he threw it. It's third down at 10. They need to get something going. Crowder, wide right. Bradley, wide left from the eye. Marks the signals, takes the snap, looking to throw across the middle, and it is incomplete. Intended for Shane Miller, broken up in there by Chris Stacy and Marcus Forney, as well as David Lawson. So the Spartans will have to punt the football, and the defense gets a well-deserved round of applause. down, and there is the snap from center, Switzer, 
gets off a good punt. This one will not be returned. Oh, I believe it hit a grand player. And we'll see what the ref calls. football game is brought to you in part by Sarge Painter and all the good folks from Abs Valley Electric, Bluefield, Virginia. Abs Valley Electric takes great pride in the youth of our community and is committed to supporting the future leaders of our country and area. From Sarge and everyone at Abs Valley Electric, go get them, G-Men. We're behind you 100%. Abs Valley Electric in Bluefield, Virginia and Sarge Painter. It's second and goal from the pool for the start with 3.06 remaining third quarter. Two wide receivers left. They operate from the eye. Switzer takes the snap to give it to Miller. He goes nowhere. Stacy catches him from behind. Marcus Lattimore also in on the tackle. And there's one more Cardinal jersey down there as well. And that is uh, Sam Austin again. It will be third and goal from the four. Receivers two over to the left. Switzer drops back the pass. Looking and it is incomplete. Stacy got a hand on it. That was intended for Chris Miller. Good defense that time, but Stacy. Chris Stacy played a whale of a defensive ball game tonight, and it looks like they'll be. find a better buy at your hometown Brown IGA, Rossi's in Bluefield, Virginia. to the rest down there, but that was a perfect, perfect onside kick. The ball took a bounce backwards, 
Defense needs to get on track. Goes out wide to the right. Bradley wide to the left. Throws that right. Switzer, here they go. Switzer takes the snap to give his two good passes. He goes nowhere. stop. No gain. It will be second down to 10. Wide receivers both sides of the field from the eye. Switzer pitches back to Goodfaster. Half back half. Looking down field. And it is half complete to Brad Bradley who had to come back. And that will be a first down. Brett Surface the tackle and the coverage. Plano is getting fired up right now. Yes, they are. And now they've got the football at the Grand 29 with 123 remaining in the third. They break from the huddle and they'll send Joey Crowder out wide to the right again. And Bradley will put out wide to the left. They'll operate from the pro side right. Switzer takes the snap. Keeper. There's a fumble on the play. Latimer picks it up. Oh, they're going to call him down. Fumble on the play. It is the team in football. We got that turnover. Oh, no, we needed that. Good pasture, the tailback, took it himself on the option, and got hit one time and fumbled the football. Popped it up. It's first and 10 Chima from around 26 with 46 remaining third quarter. Dudley takes the snap to give us to Ricky Brown. Right on the right side. Ricky Brown's got the running room. Ricky's still on his feet, and he's got it all the way up to almost midfield up to 45. Tackle was made by Jermaine Vineyard. side and 40 is tripped up and tackled by Richard Goodpasture. That will end the third quarter with the score of the G-Men 17. The Spartans 3 will pause for 30 seconds. When you visit Rainey Chevrolet Chrysler Subaru, you're aware you're in a special place. At the moment you arrive at this, because we sell more at Rainey's, we don't have to make as much on each sale as a yeah, hip pointer. G-Men from her own 47. Dudley takes the snap. Ricky Brown uh, and picks up a couple of yards. It'll be third down at about five. Stacy now up off. Uh, he's got a little pointers all of his, I believe. Then. Jody Terry makes the tackle. Forney into the football game for the G-Men. Brent Surface comes out. And we're into the fourth and final quarter of tonight's football game. Big third down here, Cap. Big one. 40, flank to the left. Close up left. G-Man Dudley takes the snap from center. They give it to Latimer. <clears throat> Latimer goes nowhere. It will be fourth down, and we'll have to punt. Richard Goodpasture, initial hit for the Spartans. And the Spartans will get the football back. with a three-pointer from 21 yards out. John Sheeler split the uprights. Second time around, they fumbled it on the onside kick. There's the snap from center. The kick is up, and it is a high one, and it's coming down to Brad Bradley at the 16, 17-yard line, and his knee hits the ground. It will be first and 10. Hunter comes out wide. on the cover, 
coach along with David Lawson. If you think you know a lot about the Grand Heights Rink, well, Jim Dudley, attorney, serving the Bluefield area since 1973. Jim and I play first and 10 from the starting 49-yard line. 9.26 remaining. Dudley on the draw to Ricky Brown. Ricky hit by a couple of guys, still on his feet. Until you shop them. 
McCann's has a great selection of new and used cars and on the spot fuel, and you'll love the service after the evening. Two extra points and a touchdown for Ricky. There's the kickoff. We'll come down to uh, Ricky
G-Man. First string still in, obviously. Dudley takes the snap for center. Now fumble, and Bill falls on it the way he's supposed to. That's trying to pick it up. Second down and 11, lost the floor. Clock continues to roll. We're under three and a half minutes. on a Linux. Well, save your money. And don't forget, at J&M, financing is available. Nothing down and easy monthly payments with approved credit. Call J&M Heating and Air Conditioning in Princeton at 425-5445. Appalachian Power joins in bringing this message. Stretcher drives back to pass, and he, we've got 68 picks remaining in the football game. Stretcher dropping back, looking downfield. at the G-Man 34. Live receivers both sides of the field. On third down, switch 
Spencer drops back again. Green chase almost. Looking downfield, it is complete, and it will be close, I believe that is a first down, that was complete to Corey Eppley that time, it is a first down, no huddle, Marcus Forney makes the tackle. Chevy, Chrysler, full of time. 